The Petterbold is a cat breed of Russian origin. It was created in St. Petersburg in 1994 from an experimental breeding by Olga S. Miranova. They resemble oriental shorthairs with a hair losing gene. The breed was accepted for championship class competition in 2009. Petterbolds have a characteristic head shape, long and narrow, with a straight profile, almond shaped eyes, and large, set apart ears. Ideal representatives of the breed look like hairless oriental cats. Petterbolds are usually friendly, curious, active, love all members of their family, and need to communicate with people. They are not independent cats. Petterbolds get along well with other cats and other pets. Petterbold is a talkative cat, a sophisticated top model with a dreamy gaze and bad ears, who cannot live a day without hugs and intimate conversations with the owner. Among inveterate cat lovers, Petersburgers are known as a privileged caste, the purchase of a representative of which is regarded as a transition to a new higher level. As for the shortcomings, the breed has only one, having once acquired a St. Petersburg Sphinx, it is almost impossible to control yourself so as not to start buying animals by families. Very extraordinary and sociable pets are obtained from these purrs. Distinctive features of the Petterbold, a completely or partially hairless body, an elegant snake-like profile, an elegant figure with a strong bias towards the Siamese oriental type. Highlights. The name of the breed Petterbold can be translated into Russian as Bald Peter. However, fans of Eard Kotafiv prefer to call their favorite simply Petrix. Petersburg Sphinxes are born kinesthetics who prefer tactile contact to mental connection. The skin of completely bald Petterbold people gives off a large amount of secretion, therefore it requires careful, and at the same time careful care. Representatives of the hairless variety of the breed are called gummy or rubber bands for their elastic, slightly sticky skin. Petterbold is a hot thing in the truest sense of the word. The body temperature of these charismatic bald cats is significantly higher than that of normal wool cats, so they can be used as heating pads on occasion. This is one of the most talkative varieties of sphinxes with a rather demanding voice. Moreover, most cats do not turn off their inner purr even in their sleep. Despite the insignificant amount of coat and often its complete absence, the breed is not hypoallergenic. To be more precise, the Fel D1 protein in the saliva of Petersburgers is present in the same volume as in cats with full hair. Petterbolds, like all bald purrs, have accelerated thermoregulation. Hence, a brutal appetite, which does not fit in with the model appearance of the pet. Codafe from the banks of the Neva are very jumpy, but at the same time extremely graceful, so one usually does not have to worry about the safety of porcelain figurines and flower pots. The breed loves warmth, but direct ultraviolet rays are not very useful for it, and even harmful for naked Petterbold. History of the Petterbold Cat Breed Petterbold is a 100% breeding product obtained as a result of crossing the Oriental and the Don Sphinx. The first experiment to create a new breed branch was carried out in 1994 by Olga Miranova, a St. Petersburg felinologist. As a result of planned outcrossing, four hybrid kittens were born, Sissy from Murino, Nocturne from Murino, Mandarin from Murino and Musket from Murino. It was these cats that were entered in the herd books as the official ancestors of today's Petterbolds. Petersbolds received recognition of the Philological Associations relatively quickly. In 1996, the SPF gave the go-ahead to breed the St. Petersburg Sphinxes, and a year later TICA joined it, approving the abbreviation PD for the breed. In 2003, the animals were recognized by the WCF, giving them their own abbreviation, PBD. Here it is worth making a small clarification, despite the successfully passed standardization and official breed status, the branch of Petterbold remains developing, which means that it is only in the plans to obtain its reference representative from breeders. Nevertheless, since 1997, mating between Don Sphinxes and Petersburgers is officially prohibited. As before and now, breeding specialists do not set as their goal the breeding of exclusively hairless cats, more concerned about the externalization of their external characteristics, so, the ideal Petterbold in the understanding of felinologists should be close to the oriental type of appearance, that is, combine the maximum of the breed features of Siamese and oriental. Moreover, the amount of will on the body of the animal has practically no effect on its value both in breeding and financial terms. An exception is the straight-haired variety of the breed, but more on that later. Appearance of the Petterbold and its differences from the Don Sphinx. Judging by the images from the internet, cats from the city on the Neva differ little from the Don Sphinxes. However, in real life, Petterbolds are much smaller and more sophisticated than their southern counterparts. In particular, the weight of the average bald pet you fluctuates within 3 to 5 kilograms, while the Donitz residents can gain up to 7 kilograms. Among other things, the Petersburgers are characterized by outstanding grace, bringing them closer to the oriental and less wrinkling of the skin. If the Petterbold inherited the rough skeleton and plump forms of the Donchak, this can be considered as a serious exterior defect. 
each of the breeds has its own characteristics in the structure of the skull. For example, the head of the Don Sphinx has an exotic, almost alien outline, while the faces of the Pedibolds are associated with flat snake heads. Colors. Color point and oriental types of colors are characteristic of the St. Petersburg Sphinxes. In the first case, cats can have suits, tabby, cake, blue, lilac, chocolate, red and cream point. Oriental colored pedibolds are individuals of blue, black, cream, chocolate, red, tabby, bicolor and tortoiseshell colors. The nature of the pedibold. Petersburg Sphinx is an open and contact breed. These hairless eared ears do not accumulate negative, preferring to occupy their own memory only with positive impressions, are always frank in their feelings, and are not inclined to traditional feline intrigues. The only thing that a pedibold can irritate with is the strategic supply of affection that he needs to throw out on a person. So it is better not to acquire Neva Sphinxes for inveterate introverts who need personal space. A fairly common mistake is attempts to mistake the good-naturedness and sociability of the pedibold people for spinelessness. Consider, by the type of temperament, old cats are more choleric than melancholic. Yes, their favorite pastimes are eating all kinds of delicacies and reclining on something soft and warm, but with the wrong upbringing and lack of attention, they can turn into real breakaways. So if you stumbled upon a review on the internet about an evil Petersburger, in 9 cases out of 10 this is the story of inexperienced lazy owners who took the animal as an interior decoration and did not even try to establish relations with it. By the way, for all their canine affection for the owner, pedibolds are not monogamous, and in the case of a spontaneous move to a new family, they will easily establish contact with its members. For this breed, it is not so important who to love. The main thing is that the object of adoration is always there and responds to the feline tenderness. The rest of the pedibold is a cat without pretensions, patient, easygoing, understanding. If you are tired of independent pets, slashing your child's hands with or without reason, take the St. Petersburg Sphinx into the upbringing and make sure that not all cats are in conflict with babies. Cats also have peace and understanding with other representatives of domestic fauna. Especially Petersburgers are not indifferent to bald brothers. So, having settled a couple of representatives of this breed in the house, get ready to watch the tenderness and caresses that animals will bestow on each other without any measure. The natural curiosity of the pedibled people is something that defies description. A closed door, a zippered handbag, a cardboard box brought by a courier, all this is an impossible temptation for the monkey fingers of the St. Petersburg Sphinx to resist. Better not to lead your pet into temptation and do not try to hide something from him. Pedibold will not be a pedibold if he does not declassify what attracted his attention. Maintenance and care. Since the St. Petersburg Sphinxes are dressed more than modestly, they do not like cold and drafts. Accordingly, it is necessary to ensure that the temperature in the house is comfortable for the pet, that is, not lower than plus 23 degrees Celsius. Be sure to provide the animal, not with a classic couch, but with a closed house with soft bedding installed above the floor level. But do not be surprised if your pet rests in it once a week. Usually petibolds prefer to doze close to the owner, trying to find a warmer place or even get under the covers altogether. It is possible and necessary to take the cat outside, the St. Petersburg Sphinxes should not grow in greenhouse conditions. Just watch the temperature regime. For example, in the sun, rubber pedibold quickly burns, which is why their skin becomes dry, rough and brightly pigmented. At the same time, short-term ultraviolet baths are useful for animals, with the correct dosage, a light tan gives the pet skin a richer and more interesting shade. In cool weather, cats are very cold, so breeders recommend wrapping the cat in clothes already at plus 22 degrees centigrade. True, an important point must be taken into account, any clothes for the sphinx are permanent abrasions on the skin. For a pet, this nuance does not play a role, but at the exhibition for a non-ideal skin, the rating is reduced. So, before the competitive program, it is better for the pedibold to run around naked for a week, naturally, within the apartment. If you can't go without cat vests and overalls, look for knitted wardrobe items or suits with seams outward. They do not injure the skin as much. Hygiene. The complexity of caring for a breed directly depends on the amount of wool in its representatives. Straight-haired and brushed pedibolds are less demanding in this regard than, for example, naked individuals. In particular, gammy sphinxes are characterized by intense discharge from the sebaceous glands. Outwardly, it looks like the cat is covered with a waxy coating that sticks slightly to the fingers. However, this is not a reason to drag your pet to the bathroom every day, since the secret performs a protective function and protects the skin from negative external influences and minor injuries. Of course, bathing a bald pedibald is worth bathing more often than an average cat, but you shouldn't be too zealous. Washing off protective lubricants, shampoos and other cat cosmetics dry out the skin and often cause flaking. 
for your information, the unevenly growing hair on the body of the velar pedibald causes a strong desire to depilate the animal in order to enhance the external aesthetics. Overcome the temptation and leave it as it is, because instead of ennobling the feline appearance, shaving will only worsen the structure of the coat. Pedibald's ears emit an increased amount of secretion, but you need to take it calmly, that is, do not try to stick cotton swabs into the ear canal every day, but calmly clean the ear funnel once a week with ordinary lotion from a veterinary medicine. The same procedure must be done with the fingers of the animal, as fatty deposits accumulate in the area between the claws and the skin, which interferes with the movement of the cat. The pedibald's tail is an area of special attention. There are a lot of sebaceous glands at its base, so there are often blockages of pores and pimples in this area. Tail acne should be fraught with cleansing veterinary lotions and wipes, so that later you do not go to a specialist for the removal of overgrown subcutaneous when. Be sure to set aside time for daily examination of the pedibald's eyes, because the lack of eyelashes cries the breed more often than others. Petersbald's claws can be cut a couple of times a month, which, of course, does not exempt you from buying a scratching post. It is advisable to additionally handle the claw with a nail file, so that when scratching, the St. Petersburg Sphinx scratches its own skin less. Feeding. Cats eat a lot. Before the kitten is one year old, you can close your eyes to such behavior and not limit the baby in nutrition. It is, after all, a growing organism that requires more energy than an adult. After a year, the food habits of the pedibalds can and should be corrected. Pedibalds should not overeat so as not to turn into a clumsy semblance of its relative, the Don Sphinx. You can feed the pedibalds either with food or with natural products. Some breeders practice mixed feeding. Health and illness of pedibald. Some terrible hereditary ailments have not been identified in the St. Petersburg Sphinxes, but the breed is actively developing, and it is not a fact that in the foreseeable future the breeders will not announce an incurable genetic defect passing from parents to kittens. Some breeders are inclined to believe that pedibalds do have a predisposition to lung infections. Experts argue their assumptions by the fact that cats with rhinotrachidus usually do not stop there, catching pneumonia next. Physiological defects such as underdevelopment of the thymus and gingival hyperplasia are also genetically determined. The rest of the Petersbulls suffer from standard feline ailments like seasonal colds, which primarily affect bald individuals, skin diseases and eye problems. Changes in the quality of grease is an additional indicator that not everything is going smoothly in the animal's body. If the secret is secreted too abundantly and has an overly oily consistency, it is worth revising the cat's menu with a veterinarian. How to choose a kitten. Before buying a kitten, get to know the Petersburg Sphinx breed better, paying special attention to bald cats. If sticky, secreted skin and a characteristic smell emanating from the rubber bands do not bother you, look for a reliable nursery. Commercial breeders often tailor their breeders to the needs of their buyers. In particular, instead of a bald pedibald, you can purchase a shaved flock or a representative of any other variety from such sellers. Make sure you are dealing with a professional or registered nursery before purchasing. Color point sphinxes are born completely white, and the color on the tip of the nose, tail, ears and paws appears several days after birth. In one litter, completely naked, flock and brush kittens can be born, however, animals acquire stable external features only by the age of two. As a result, when buying, you should be prepared for the fact that instead of a flock pet, you will find a flock or velar point cat. Examine the kitten carefully as it sits. If the keel is too protruding in the St. Petersburg Sphinx, this is most likely a consequence of subluxation of the sternum, which is regarded as a defect. Gently feel the tail of the pedibald you like. It should be flat, without creases, skin folds, knots and an empty leather pouch at the tip. The skin of a healthy pedibald kitten should not bear traces of eczema or acne, although small scratches made by litimate's claws are acceptable. When purchasing a naked pedibald for further breeding, be especially careful. Sometimes boys of this variety are sterile, and girls may not be lactating. The price of the St. Petersburg Sphinx. Pedibalds are among the 20 most expensive cats in the world, so an exemplary representative of the breed with an elite pedigree and a rare color will cost about 1300 US dollars. Variants with less exotic colors, as well as animals without the right of breeding, are much cheaper 400 US dollars. The most economical option is straight-haired variety 100 US dollars.